Hey guys, welcome to another reading vlog. I'm Kishwar Zubair and I am reading Sacred Games by Vikram Chandra from last four days. I am at page 150 right now. And I wasn't sure if I should record a reading vlog of this book because I'm not really sure if I'll be able to finish this book. Because as you can see, it's a really big book. It's around 450 pages long. It is divided into two parts and its second part is also 450-500 pages long. Plus the book size is, as you can see, is much bigger than your average paperback book so it's a really really big book and i was really intimidated by its size so i wasn't really sure that if i should start a vlog because what if i won't finish the book what if i won't be able to um you know finish the book then all of this effort or whatever will go in vain although it's not too much effort recording a vlog but it's still i'm really sorry about the noise there's some construction work going in my neighborhood so yes, um, I wasn't sure that if I will finish this book, I wasn't sure if I like this book, I wasn't sure if I should record a reading vlog. But after I finished over a hundred pages, I am really engaged. It's a really engaging story. It took me a little while to get into the story, but once I'm into it, I think I will continue reading it. So the noise are really disturbing me. So yes, this is what we'll be reading. Let's see how the book turns out to be. Okay guys, I just took a bath and now I'm taking a sun bath. So I thought uh, why not give you guys a quick reading update. So I am 50% into this book and I just can't believe it. I really can't believe that I am halfway into this book because look at the size of this book. I never thought that I'll be able to finish this book. I literally thought that I will DNF it because it's so big. But um, the back cover of this book has a review from the New York Times and it says Sacred Games is as hard to put down as it is to pick up. And I completely agree with these words. I was so scared to uh, pick this book up. But now that I'm reading, it's flowing so smoothly that I don't even feel like DNFing it for even once. I am just reading and reading and reading. Though it, it says that it's a crime thriller and a mystery book. But it's not that thrilling. It's not that mysterious. I mean, yes, there are some secrets and stuff which are unfolding as the story is uh, moving ahead but <clears throat> it's not like uh, nail biting or it's not uh, you know making me sit at the edge of my seat or anything like that it's it's just going on it's a simple story the language is really simple and it's it's just going on really smoothly really really smoothly no you know twists and turns and unpredictable plots and stuff like that nothing at all it's so simple but it is so good that i i really wasn't expecting this book to be this good so yes i am liking it really it's 2 15 a.m and i finished this book no i wasn't up the entire night to finish this novel it's just that i got an off today or yesterday and i slept till 12 30 in the afternoon so now i can't sleep so i thought why not read and i did read it and i finished it and i'm so proud of myself it's the biggest book i have ever read in my entire life and i read it cover to cover and can you see this book is just filled with words words and words 
so yes it's a really interesting book and now that i've finished it i will be reading this i will be starting it from tomorrow inshallah and let's see how it ends but before i start reading this i will be marking this book um this book is going to be heavily marked uh, because there are many quotes and fancy dialogues and lines that i uh, really found interesting i jot down the number of pages on this rough page um i wasn't marking the book or i wasn't adding sticky notes to it while i was reading it because i was carrying this book everywhere with me i was taking it to the hospital on the terrace or wherever i was going so that's the reason but now uh, that i finished reading it and now that i know that i won't be rereading it anytime soon so this book is going to be marked so i think now that i'm not sleeping let's start marking this book Alright, I finished 100 pages of this book and my reading speed has slowed down a bit but I think it's absolutely okay. I am not pushing myself a lot. I am not pressurizing myself to read it quickly because I still can't believe that I finished 550 pages of this novel and I want to continue reading it. I am not tired. I am not exhausted. I am not bored of this book. That usually happens. Um, I am actually really enjoying it. So... I am going with the flow. I read only when I feel like reading. I don't when I don't feel like reading. So yes, uh, let's continue to read. Look who is back on the terrace. It's November 20th and my quarter is freezing. <laughs> so I'm back on my terrace. Where else would I go? So I thought to give you guys a quick reading update. I finished uh, 50% of the second part of Sacred Games and now I want it to end now I'm really getting tired now because I mean I just want to know everything I wanted to finish really quickly also uh, because I am finding too much details of Kaitonde's life and his career and stuff like that which is i mean not like really boring but yes i'm not that interested either because i am not seeing if those things will have major impact in the climax so yes um good book enjoying it but now i want it to end Alright, so it's 26th November, the time is 12.15 a.m. And I am about to finish this book, just 25 more pages left. But I can't really explain in words how much I am struggling to finish these pages because, God, I am reading this book from last 26 days and I am losing my patience now. I want it to end. I just want it this book to finish soon okay guys just check it out 
after 25 days of continuous reading i finally managed to finish this mammoth it actually took me less than 25 days to finish this book because there were many days when i was not reading at all or and and there were days when i was just reading one or two pages so i finished this book pretty quickly actually so the story is really simple a mumbai police inspector sartaj singh receives a phone call from the infamous hindu gangster ganesh gaitonde who had been missing from india from many years and he starts telling sartaj singh his life story but sartaj of course is more interested in catching him than hearing his story but before he could arrest gaitonde or hear his entire story gaitonde kills himself now the question arises what ganesh gaitonde was doing in india or in mumbai or why was he telling his story or what was he trying to tell sartaj or why he chooses only sartaj singh to tell his story and you get all your answers after you finish reading these 950 pages now of course there are many stories entangled within this main story and there are many many characters and i will talk about everything in detail in my next video inshallah after i'll be done watching its netflix adaptation but for now i can say that it is an easy to read book and a very engaging read i mean yes of course this book tested my patience and i kind of grew tired of it particularly uh in the last few chapters and there were a few things that didn't work out for me but overall it's very gripping so overall i enjoyed reading this book and you may read it if you are comfortable reading abusive language sexual content and violence but um all these things didn't look vulgar in this book i mean it kind of added uh, to the beauty of this book or, or in its writing which is kind of weird but yes um i would recommend you guys to read this book if you are a crime thriller or historical fiction or indian literature lover you will enjoy reading this book and this is where i'll wrap up this vlog i'll see you guys very soon with a detailed review of this book and its netflix adaptation so don't forget to subscribe and goodbye